My father was a Marine. He served back in Korea. Uh, I'm the last of 14 kids. It's uh, pretty significant. The knots I have from growing up, you know, with all those brothers. I wanted to follow in my father's footsteps as a Marine, and so I did so. I'm a retired master sergeant in the Marine Corps. I spent uh, just about 22 years in the Marine Corps. Uh, I came up as a radio operator. I retired as a communications chief. Several significant moments. Um, I'd say the, the, the biggest ones were when you get the opportunity to truly make a difference and you get to see it. I was embedded with an Iraqi battalion. Children who are running around and you see them all the time while you're out patrolling, you're out there on the streets, vehicle mounted patrols and that sort of thing. My corpsman, he used to ride it like morning kids would be riding by on a bike. He'd be like, hey, come here. And he'd get on the bike and just cracking jokes with them and seeing the smiles. We'd bring candies for them, uh, sometimes soccer balls, which is huge out there. And you just see how they light up. I think they want just the same like what we want. We want to live in peace. We want to, you know, prosper and, and just have a good life overall. So. Toys for Tots, I was the uh, coordinator to ensure that every kid was able to have a good Christmas. I got the opportunity to be able to go to Toys R Us and spend some money with Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. That guy is like a big kid and he is super amazing, so down to earth. Love that guy. We were in Toys R Us, you know, messing around with all the toys and everybody, all the kids that were hanging out, whatever. He gets in this uh, little radio flyer wagon. You know, I thought I'd be able to push him, not so much. Me and my buddy, uh, Jesse, we were pushing him in this little cart, man. So it, it was a riot, man. Great guy and, and Toys for Tots is, is amazing organization. I learned throughout those 22 years of being in the Marine Corps, communication is key. I think that that really helps with how I do things, how I conduct myself as a professional driver within the night organization. I'd like to over-report, then under-report what's going on with me, my truck, where I'm going, or, or um, what my intentions are. So the Veteran Apprenticeship Program, it's kind of like uh, a trade school. If you'd go to a trade school, You'd use your VA benefits and that would pay for the schooling and whatnot. It's kind of like that where here you're learning to trade. You're, you're further developing your skill set as a driver. The VA allows you to use your GI Bill benefits. You're getting paid your monthly basic allowance for housing as an E5 based on the zip code of where your work is. The VA pays out monthly stipend for that. It's not like, oh, I need to submit this form or this form and you know and it's a super complex process they've made it very simple i think truly having a solid support system is absolutely essential to being able to survive in this career field i've been married for going on 21 years next month she's been amazing throughout the entire time that i spent in the military and even now she supports what i'm doing i've been sending her you know all these pictures and she's like oh my gosh it's so beautiful I can't wait to get on the truck. It's a great career field for guys like me who spent many, many years deployed. Having that, what I like to call the nomadic lifestyle, kind of works for me. Getting in the truck and getting across the country, I mean, although I've been doing it for a short time, it really has been a, a breath of fresh air. Everywhere I've go, I've been taking pictures, and it's been phenomenal to see and witness. You know, I've been, like I said, around the world several times, seen some places that I wanted to be, some places that I absolutely did not want to be. But here, this is America, and these beautiful cities and beautiful places are just absolutely amazing. So for anybody who's considering getting into the trucking industry, it's a fantastic field, and even more so if you want to get into a phenomenal organization that hands down looks out for you, will bend over backwards to make sure that you're cared for and that your vehicle and your equipment is taken care of, this is the organization. Night has been absolutely amazing.